Hey dolls, so today I have a couple's get ready with me and this is the Dark Knight themed party. Um, it's a little different than what I normally do. So first I'm going to get started by using my Sexy Hair 450 headset spray and this is just supposed to help with, um, it gives me some heat protection because I am curling my hair. I'm using my Lioness Beauty Curling Iron. I love this curling iron because my hair just slides right through as I've mentioned before. And I'm going on with the typical routine of curling my hair. These vintage, sty these vintage styles usually all start the same. So I'm not going to bore you with showing you everything. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Prep and Prime and I'm just applying that all over my face. I really love this primer. I've used it various times in my tutorials. Now I'm taking my NYX Color Corrector Concealer and I'm blending in those two colors together. I'm using my Sigma Beauty 3D HD Precision Brush. Just applying that underneath my eyes to cover the dark circles and then patting that in with my finger. Then I'm taking the yellow color corrector and applying that underneath just to kind of brighten up the eyes a little bit. And now I'm taking my Glamier blending sponge brush and just blending that in. Now I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and applying just little dots all over my face. And then I'm taking my Glamier Cosmetics Face of Gold Kabuki Brush and blending that in. Now I ran out of my normal Glamier powder that I use, so I, I went to Target and got this Maybelline Fit Me in the color 220. This stuff is actually extremely incredible. It set my foundation really well. It doesn't make me oily. So I love it. I think this is my new powder. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D uh, Prep and Color Correct. Or Prime and Correct, sorry. Then I'm taking tape and I'm applying it to my hands first so it's not sticky. And then I'm going to use the typical tape trick. And I'm taking my Kat Von D Monarch Eyes Palette and I'm using the color Wrath. I'm taking my E40 Sigma brush and just using that to blend, diffuse the color. Now I'm taking the color Shadow Box and this is a dark brown but it looks, it kind of looks almost black. And then I'm just going to blend that out together with my Sigma E38 brush. And time to take off the tape. Perfect sharp line. And here I'm just, I'm not really going to do a wing. I'm just taking a um, liner pencil, black, and just applying that where I'm going to apply my eyelashes. Then I'm taking the first color, Wrath, and smoking that out at the bottom. And then I'm going to take the same black color pencil. And then I'm going to blend that out with a flat brush. Then I'm taking the Monarch palette again and I'm using the color Summerfly. And I'm just going to use that on the inner corners as a gold highlight. And then I'm taking my It Cosmetics mascara and applying that. Now I'm taking my City Color Bronzer and this is in the color Sunset. And then I'm taking Tarte, this Tarte Cosmetics blush along with my Glamier fan brush and applying that just to add some pink. Now I'm taking this Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipstick. This one is extremely moisturizing. I love it. And this is in the color Deranged. Now I'm taking my Benefit Cosmetics High Beam and this is just a subtle highlight for my face. 
looks like nail polish and I'm blending it out with my finger. And then I'm going to place them here. I'm only using this for a subtle highlight, not to contour. I just want to give my face a little glow. And here is the final makeup look. So now once my hair is cooled down, I'm taking out the pins and just running my fingers through there to break up the curls. Then I'm just starting to back comb a few of the sections up to the crown just so they blend in and it doesn't look so choppy in the back. And I'm just using that same comb, my Amica paddle brush, just to comb through all the curls. This time I'm doing no molding. I'm just, I was just strictly combing through it. Because I wanted kind of a messy curl look, so I sprayed some hairspray and let that set. Then I'm taking these top sections and teasing them, the usual, once again. And just making sure to get everything smooth. And here is the final hair and makeup look. Hey everyone, it's me now. So at this point, while my hair is still damp, I use a, a round brush that I purchased from Sally's and a sexy hair blow dryer. I uh, just use it to dry, uh, dry my hair and shape it and uh, add a little more volume to it. And at this point, I'm using the uh, Sexy Hair uh, Control Maniac Wax. Uh, this one has a, a high shine and a strong hold. Uh, but what I like about this one is the, the shine on this is not too shiny like gel. It's more just like a, a like a subtle wax. So your hair kind of just looks like it's you know nat naturally shaped this shaped form. And now again, I use a blow dryer with my round brush just to... Uh, add a little more volume again just to start shaping the hair do a little bit of a of a side part and just gotta double check make sure uh, every little strand and hair is it's in its place um, and you can always add a, a little bit of hairspray I'm using the uh, Aussie free spray, uh, but you can use any any type of hairspray. That one just works for, for my type of hair. Hair's a little bit thicker. And same thing with the wax. Uh, I like using this wax because it doesn't clump up my hair. It doesn't get it sticky. I can run my fingers through it, throw a little bit of water. Now moving on to the beard. I use a uh, Ford Amsterdam beard wax. It uh, also comes in a... Uh, liquid oil form but I'm using the the beard balm right now I uh, use it to shape my my mustache and then uh, just rub it on the uh, the rest of my beard uh, kind of massage it in there really really well this one I found treats my my skin underneath really 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 well it doesn't get itchy it doesn't get dry um, and then I use a, a firm bristle brush that I purchased from Sally to kind of just even it out with all the the wax around and I finish it off with uh, another just a comb from Sally's uh, it's a wide comb that to kind of just move the the beard balm you know through every little single strand that way I don't make sure I don't miss anything now to go along with the uh, dark theme party we were attending I have my H&M uh, blazer black and uh, a uh, polka dot square pocket square sorry for Macy's and my black uh, pants are from Express they're a slim fit photographer pant and now the uh, back view 
of my pants and blazer. I uh, really like the way they're tailored to my taste. And uh, this is a black H&M polka dot shirt. And I'll top it off with a black belt from Express. And now my shoes are from Aldo. They're uh, monk strap shoes. Uh, got them for a really, really good price. <laughs> uh, finish it off with the Red Sox. Kind of add a little bit of pop to it. Purchase these at DSW. To finish off the look, I strap on my Daniel Wellington Rose Gold Sheffield watch. If you use the uh, code PINUPDOLL, you get 15% off. And that concludes my look. And now for my outfit. Mine's a lot more different than I normally show you. Um, it's a lot more risque and shows a lot more skin, so I know some of you are going to have mixed feelings about it. But I still wanted to show you just because I love it so much. This is the sweater caged skirt, and it's from J Lux Label. I got it for, I believe, $59 or $49. And I paired it with my Naked Wardrobe body. The body actually shows more booty. <laughs> so I took some black high-waisted underwear that I have and just placed that over just to kind of cover up my butt a little bit. And next I paired it with my Daniel Wellington Rose Gold Sheffield watch. I love watches, but this one is my absolute favorite just because it just looks so classy, so simple, and it has a brown leather band, so it goes with so many different styles or clothing and things like that. So this concludes our look. I hope you all enjoyed our get ready, and I'll see you next week. Bye, loves.